Hey, Torch fans, we have the warm place to be now. We're inside of Menches, and they've been tremendously gracious to us. They're giving us call. It's great. It's great. It's a great experience meeting a lot of new people. Um, it's just a whole excitement down here in downtown Yak. We don't get very often. That's right. Well, when we come back, we'll talk to some of the people who make this really happen. We'll be back. This is Nichelle Moore and Time Warner Cable, and I'm standing with Mary O'Connor, who is the Chevrolet spokesman, f f spokeswoman, excuse me, and we're standing in front of Bookto High School right before the torch relay starts. How are you doing? I'm great. It's fun to be here today in Ohio. Great. Um, can you tell us a little bit about um, what you do and why you all are here today? Absolutely. Chevrolet's been involved in the planning of the Olympic Torch Relay now for over two years. And obviously, people can tell as they see the relay that our vehicles are taking it from coast to coast across the country. Why we're here today is there's a break this morning, the Olympic Torch Relay. Torch Bear will carry the flame out of here. It will come in on the CAT, which is the Chevrolet Avalanche Torch Transporter, the way we transport the flame from city to city in between Torch Bears. And the first Torch Bear will light their flame off of that and they will take off and we'll head on through Ohio. We will be today in the Dayton area um, after one out to Chicago, Wisconsin, and then up back on into Michigan. Wow. Where are you all coming from? Well, we started on December 4th in Atlanta, Georgia, and this is a 13,500 mile journey that will cover 46 states and take about 65 days, wow. and it's just, it's phenomenal. It really is, especially for Chevrolet, about sharing the spirit of the Olympics with millions of Americans across the country. That is awesome. How many people are traveling with you? <laughs> well, on our Chevy team, we have about 70 that travel full-time with us. There's also a team from Coca-Cola and a team from the Salt Lake Organizing Committee that actually puts it on and they are doing just a phenomenal job. Wow. And do you all get an opportunity to meet any of the runners? You know, we do. And that's probably the most special thing here. We get to meet the people whose stories we've been reading for months. And at Chevy, we had the opportunity to select 3,500 of the 11,500 torchbearers. And their stories are unbelievable. They have touched our lives more than we ever could have imagined. And it really shows us how that fire is within every different person in communities. And it also kind of makes us proud to be able to go around to communities and see people who the community citizens think are just really special and inspirational. And not in a celebrity way, but in their everyday lives, in their home lives, in their work lives, the way they work with children, the way they've overcome unbelievable obstacles. It's great. Well, this is outstanding. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. We were so excited to see what's going to happen. We'll be right back.
Okay, we're here with Mark Williamson.